Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In the previous videos, we set up our first person camera, our weapon blueprint, our aim blender space, and also our animation blueprint. But uh, in this video, we are going to take a look how we can create a weapon pickup. And we actually can pick up our weapon. So, uh, let's get started. Uh, let me first open my character. Uh, in the last video, we told the engine out of the events we can play, uh, spawn our weapon to our character's hand. But it is not really what we're looking for. So, let me disconnect this code, select all of them, hit Ctrl X. To cut them, then to create a new function. Out of the new function, I'm going to say weapon spawn and paste this code and fuck this up. And we're done here for now. And let's open your weapon blueprint after that now i'm going to add a component i'm going to add a box collision hit it to hit the size of my weapon and there we go now we have it but uh, select class defaults and right here search for tag and under the tag we have zero array elements Click on the plus icon and write whatever tag you want. I'm gonna call it M4, which is also my weapon is M4. I hit compile, and this is going to be my uh, weapon name that engine recognize is for me. So, uh, okay, let me. Create a new, create a new input action under the project setting. Input. We are going to create a new action mapping. Create a new action mapping. I'm gonna call it uh, pickup. And search for EQ. And EQ. Let me find the EQ. Yeah, there we go. Our EQ. Now open your third person character or whatever character you have. Now in the the first thing I want to do, click uh, delete this uh, open reference because uh I'll in the event we can play we don't have our weapon attached to our character so we can't really see if it's valid or not we have to first equip this weapon and then uh, i'm sorry we have to first pick up this weapon and then check if it is valid or not so let me right click find, uh, find some free space and right click I'm gonna search for pick up. I'm gonna out of the press search for loop for loop with break. Um, I'm sorry for each loop with break. And for the for this array, I'm going to get over lapping actors and select the actor uh, this will uh, search on the ground and see which actor we overlap it and it, it also search if it is type of our actors they will do the rest of our code but if it if it is not uh, the type of actor that we choose uh, the code will do nothing 
So, in the array element, I'm going to say out of the array element, I'm going to search for has a tag actor has tag and this tag will be our tag that we create earlier you have to spell this very correctly because otherwise the code won't work and my tag was info and you see we have a boolean return value so hold down b and left click to get a new branch Walk this up to this branch this code will check to see if our actor that we overlapping right here has this tag or not if this uh, actor has uh, the m4 tag you are going to say first you are going to say destroy this actor destroy this will destroy our actor in the ground and after that we are going to save we are going to drag this uh, function that we created earlier and we are going to pull it from right here out of the I'm sorry out of the destroy actor call call uh, weapon spawn and there we go now we should uh, ready to go if i hit play i'm sorry i haven't uh, dragged my weapon to to the scene if i go go to this uh, actor and press e now i can uh, i can pick it up and if i Press one on my keyboard. Now we have the weapon attached. But uh, how we can drop this item? Now we picked up and yeah. Let me uh, connect this one to the break because we are uh, we are we need to this code looping. This code will loop every time we drop our actor. So, uh, let me create a new uh, action mapping. On the input section, create a new action mapping. Search for drop weapon. And search for G key. Is G? Yeah, there it is. Um, search for drop weapon for the drop weapon I'm going to on the weapon as one function promote this variable to a new variable um, connect this one change the name to weapon reference compile we're going to get our weapon reference and convert it to a validated get connect this uh, connect this one and if it is valid we are going to say detach actor uh, detach from actor and yeah keep the board Let's see what we create. Um, if I go to this weapon, press E, we pick up the weapon. Now we have our weapon. And if I hit on the G, this will drop our weapon, but it will stay right here. And if I go through this one and hit E again, now we should be able to pick this weapon but uh, we have a problem after we drop this weapon the weapon will stay in the air we don't really want this to happen so on the no collision choose custom and the collision enable search for collision uh, collision enable query and physics 
and I think that will work for us and yeah now oh sh let me so um we have problem on the ignore tab I mean overlap tag tab we want to check overlap the poem so now this will can overlap our poem and if I and drop it because we have a collision problem this is not really what we want so let me like this one and and also let me change change the size of this uh, box collision a little bit make it bigger yeah mm. It's okay, we will fix it on the next video. For now, let me change the collision. Collision of the button. Collision will be... Overlap only pawn and let's see what happens. Oh shit. Um, let me keep the relative. Let's see what will happen. I drop this weapon. Let's go. Let this weapon did go. I mean it will um, this weapon go through the sky or something like that, but put it to the the world and for now i think um, that's it for this video i hope you guys find this video helpful if you did don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more unreal engine tutorial and i see you in the next one bye